On the breakfast, Nigerian aviation increases transportation fares, making so many Nigerians furious. River State Governor Yesom Wike has accused his uh, Cross River counterpart Ben Ayadi and the police of attempting to prevent the People's Democratic Party from holding its rally uh, for the Agoja Yala federal constituency in Akbabu State by constituency or by election in Calabar. And as always, we'll be looking through the national dailies uh, this beautiful morning. A very good morning to you. It's uh, great to have you join us on the breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. On what's a beautiful Tuesday morning, my name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bokwo. It's good to be back on your screen. Yes, indeed. And of course, we're back. Mercy for a brand new day of conversations and analysis on the important national issues that our listeners, our viewers rather, would like to um, hear about and also um, discuss as well. Um, uh, the issues are still the same. You know, talking about the petrol queues, um, it seems they're dissipating, though that's not something we're looking at today. Uh, but the price is still high, and people are paying a bit higher. Um, but apart from what you and I buy, which is petrol, and those who buy diesel have been complaining. And now, those who are buying what we call Jet A1, aviation fuel, are complaining. And it seems that they are going to be throwing the burden back to the final consumer. You know, it, we'll look at that as we go on. But it's a worrying days. Are we all going to start traveling by road again? You know, in these times, um, we'll talk about that as we go on uh, this morning on the breakfast. Of course, I'm looking at what's happening across River State, a state that is dear to you and I, isn't it? <laughs> this world is small. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let, let's get into our top trending stories um, this morning. I am ready to fight dirty, Bola Metinbu. I am ready to fight dirty, Bola Metinbu. That's not just the only thing he's quoted as saying over the past 24 um, to uh, um, you know, 48 hours. He's also quoted as saying that um, uh, the young people of Nigeria, the youth of Nigeria, should um, should wait. You know, wait for him to be president before they become president. I think he may have meant it as a joke, you know, but sort of way of selling himself to the young people. But um, not a few Nigerians have not found it funny. He spoke in Yoruba while um, uh, paying a visit um, to the Alafi of Oyo, um, His Royal Highness, the Alafi of Oyo. Um, and he, he told the young people gathered there that um, they, should, they should make railway clear the road for the elders to pass. Mm -hmm. you know, and after they are gone, um, that uh, he's gone, they can now come in to be president. He said that jokingly, but um, you know, some people have said um, that Bola Metunbua was a leader in his youth. You know, in 1999, when he became pres uh, governor of Lagos State, that's how many years ago? Uh, that's almost uh, 23 years ago, yeah. Yeah, that um, he was in his um, in his in his fifties or forties. You understand, and even before that, he was a senator um, in the previous republic, and he was young. So, if he 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 went out and he vied for such positions, why is he saying the young people should wait for him to become president before they become president? And um, they've had to discuss these things over and over again. But some of his um, supporters, those who who are sympathize sympathetic to his his view, say that well. He was only, you know, making a case for himself to say um, uh, he would like to be president, and um, you know that they should, they should just basically selling himself. Mm. Um, also, that's not the only, uh, you know, statement that he's quoted as making. Uh, apart from visiting the Alafi over here, he also paid a visit to the Olubadon designate. You know, it's been a back and forth and a bit of a tussle, but we now have an Olubadon. He will soon be um, uh, being installed. And he is quoted as saying to the Alu Badon designate um, that um, he's ready to fight dirty. He's ready to fight dirty. But um, let's let's roll the tape, okay? And this is no longer tape. <laughs> let's roll the tape and let's listen to uh, the man himself, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, to become the president of the federal Cowards die many times before they are dead. No intimidation, no blackmail, no money, sort of an insult. That would make me angry to the extent that there was no more, I don't want it now. Somewhere in a 
Greek philosopher. Who said, if you want to wrestle with pink, be ready to get it. And it will be poop. I am ready to get it. <laughs> All right, so so it is quite interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people have picked an issue with that. Uh, <laughs> those words, I'm ready to get dirty. You know, and um, they're looking at it ne negatively. Some are looking at it as, oh, he's just um, saying if, if those who are competing with him, um, are, are, uh, maybe the pigs refer to there, not directly, but you know what I'm saying, means people who are dirty in nature. So he is also ready to play their game with them. But majority of those who've been commenting thing, it's a negative statement. It portends maybe underhand tactics or negative stuff during the elections or maybe even violence and all that. And some people are saying, oh, we saw MC Oluomo the other day saying that, um, you know, arranging his boys and strategizing, you know. And uh, so they are going to, it's going to be dead to you. Nigerian youth, go and get your PVC. And let's, let's fight these dirty politicians and all that. So it's been a, a back and forth between those who are pro -tinable. And those who are anti -snow. but I mean it's trending. Uh, for instance, Reno Mokri has had a field day um, on um, on Twitter uh, talking about um, uh, Tilibu playing dirty and, and all that. Uh, you know, asking several questions about it. So it's not been too much of a good PR day for a few days for Bola Tilibu. The young people now are training answers. The young people now are linking his um, statements to answers and to what happened there. You know, you know his name, his family, and the Lagos State Government and political establishment as a whole being identified with the answers you know um, uh, massacres if you want to call it that so maybe his PR guys need to do a, a so, so it's actually not um it's actually not very strange that th that kind of politics that we get to practice you if you have heard you know the machiavellian kind of theory there you go and, again no no but that's real and the crux of everything is leadership style. have you read Yes, I have a okay. little bit you of it. Totally and, get it. You should totally get and it. And he talks about, field. you know, the end the, the end justifies, justifies the, the means. means. Oh, and so however you get it, it doesn't really matter as long in as you politics. get it. And so yeah, that that's the kind of politics. I mean, for him to say he's getting dirty, he was ready to be dirty. It's just what it is. I'm ready to get dirty. And what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes to get it, I will get it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. The goal at the end of the day is getting it and not how you get it. And that is actually not you know, new for us in our political in scene. Politics, yeah. Exactly, okay. because we see all of that. I mean, we see the thuggery, we see um, how you, these politicians and those who are aspiring would go to any length just to acquire power. It, it doesn't really, so there's no morality in this conversation and it's, it's not a new thing. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping that we get, you know, we mm -hmm. gradually get to that point where, uh, you know, there's morality. Some people will say you cannot, they can't, you can't practice politics and morality at the same time. And and so, yes, this kind of theory has been imbibed by uh, so, some, some of our political, um, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you call them, elites, you have a politics. They go a long way. They can do anything, whether fetish, whether... And some of these things, you would, a lot of people can actually, um, you know, relate with them. Uh, some would go as, uh, uh, ahead as, uh, as far as having thugs and what have you uh, to truncate the system, like so, I would so say. It's, so it's so the interest, it's what they want. And that's what okay. it is. So it's, it's really not new. But we need to also understand the fact that until we, the people, understand that power, power resides with us, that the, the people have the power, okay. until we begin to you know, kill all of the sentiments. Yes, we'll, we'll understand that there's a trust deficit in the system. A lot of yes. people no longer trust mm -hmm. the system, the electoral process. But hey, and that's why people don't come out. So all of the elections, you want to look at it from, from, I mean, 1999 and all of these elections that we constantly have. One of the things that has always been constant is the fact that you have political apathy. People don't like to turn up. People's participation is really, really uh, nothing to write home about. Even with all of the buzz on social media and all of that, at the end of the day, does that translate to people turning out and that's, showing up to vote and exercise their rights and franchise? Yeah. Now, th they already understand because it's a game of numbers. If the Nigerian people understand that they show up, it would be difficult for these persons to manipulate the system and you know try to you know override the figures and what have you and steal it so until nigerians understand that power is in their hand and decide now on the other hand the truth is everyone has a right like we talked about it i think we've actually mentioned this when we had the 102 year old woman who yeah. is actually a second female yeah. was declared her interest to become president of nigeria some people would have said oh it's in different strata different meaning maybe she just wants to prove a point and what 
of view. But the point is the Constitution gives everyone a right. You have a right to vote and be voted for. And so uh, as long as you are of age, and talking about age now, there's no age barrier. Uh, so like, okay, so you, you, you have an age, you have that age as long as you're 18. No, is it 18 age limits, yes. Yes, age limit. So, but you don't have any restrictions saying when you get to a certain age, you can't contest. So no one has said if you get to 100, if you get to 170. But naturally, the reason why a lot of persons have actually spoken, because if you follow the internet, I mean, if you see the boards across different spaces and reactions from Nigeria, you find out that a lot of people have been very particular about, not necessarily that age is a bad thing. I mean, as we grow, we're going to age. All of us are going to get very old as part of life. It's the process but the argument over time is that as you grow old your capacity to perform you know drops physically your body degenerates i mean you ask the medical practitioners all of the system begin to slow down and so everything's everything is going back you know the other way and uh, that also how, how does that connect with uh no, because it's a performance thing. So yeah, some people yeah. would say, for instance, now you have seen Bola Ahmed, I mean, two weeks in, two weeks out. And so that's what people say. So you have two weeks in on the campaign. And on the other hand, you have to run, you know, probably go have some so medical checkup and what have you. not be um, too strong at this point. Because the age is telling. And as much as you can't cheat it, when age comes, it comes. So some people are saying that, hey, we, we, for a country as Nigeria, you need someone who can be, because the system, I'm not a medical practitioner, but I mean, it's just basic that you know that as you go older, uh, you know, the organs of the body begins to, you know, go down, yeah. they degenerate. And that's what happens. Memory, you know, sometimes, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of things you probably will have a little bit of loss of memory, not necessarily because you're running mad or anything is wrong with you, but it's part of it. You're already getting very old and it's not a curse, it's, it's a blessing. It's part of life. But we need to know when to take a bow and walk away. And so we, for a country, 211 million people, we need someone, Nigeria, we need someone who, you would know, be would be there thinking for uh, everything. Mm. Yeah, that, that's it. But you see, the problem that we have, just before I let you in now, is that we constantly have people who do not put the interest. Kofi, the day Nigerians will begin to have leaders who put the interest of the people above their interests, above their interests, then Nigeria will become a great nation. Now, all of the things that we constantly say is as a result of, you know, personal interest. Personal interest, for instance, you have 100%. Personal interest is 80. And national interest is 20. Where does, where does that leave us? Mm -hmm. So you see the governors, you see the contractors, you see whoever is in charge of anything. So you're being, it's just that your personal interest is more than national interest. Until we get to that point where we're very patriotic, we have leaders who think about the people and would constantly put their interest, I mean, the interest of the people and the nation above their interest, not just their interest. Now, in the kind of politics that we operate, you have people not just representing their interest, but a client. And so when you have the politics of God for Darism, some people put you there, you would be representing their interest. You do what they say. Okay. It doesn't necessarily yeah. matter about the people. But however, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, you know, um, uh, regarding the statements, you know, um, sometimes it's, it's easy to take even though I think Tinubu um, said he's ready to play dirty, um, maybe maybe the response sometimes could be overblown. You know, I mean, it's it's true that you don't want to hear politicians say, uh, you know, I'm going to fight dirty, but it's part of the game, um, like you said. And um, whether they say it or not, they'll f it'll be dirty. You know, that's it depends on the extent to me of the the debt. That is know. debt. Yeah. If, for instance, I mean, yesterday the the, co the court, I think a federal high court also struck out the uh, uh, the uh, um, citizenship case against uh, uh, Tiko Abuoka. I mean, he was, he was taken to court uh, to prove that he was a Nigerian citizen, and the case was struck out. Um, I don't, I, I'll be, it'll be hard to convince me that whoever took that case to court, you know, may have just done that because they just, you know, love Nigeria and all that. Even if they did, I don't know if they were, they were um, you know, encouraged by some politicians. All I'm saying is that, um, even if politicians who are opposed to Atiku are not behind that case, it will benefit them. So in a scenario where they have to support or to push something like that, they will. I'm not saying that's what happened. Mm. Uh -huh. But I'm saying that um, people dig up stuff. You know, for instance, a joke I say, before you come out and see all the contest, make sure your file you know, is, is safe. that Nobody can pick it up and dust it because everybody has a file. You know, even in governance, we see that the, the government fights steady. It's, it's part, I, mean, I mean, in politics, nice guys, if you're too nice, you finish last. You know, you finish last. You, you have to do some hard things. You have to, if it means you decamping, if it means you, look at those politicians. Uh, who, and that's what we're look saying. Look at those that politicians who, when they, when they decamp, mm. okay, 
uh, or they lose out. They throw things at their party. Look at APC in uh, Igiti State. The other guys have said they're going to show them Shege. Look at APC in, uh, in River State. Magnus Abe lost out and um, <laughs> he went to court and he said, if, if I'm not going to get it, the party will not be on the ballot. But it was on the ballot. So it's part of it. it but it, it depends on the extent of the, the dirt, you know, to me, the extent of how far you're willing to go. That are is you, dirt. Yeah. Are you, because, in, I mean, in the United States of America, you had, um, I mean, Donald Trump, <laughs> he played dirty. He, he said they should lock Hillary up. He called them her names, you know, brought up some allegations. Even before he became president, the same Twitter that Donald was, was, was lambasting, he used Twitter to rise to prominence. Remember when he was tweeting that Obama was not an American. He was a foreigner. You know, some people consider that racist. And when he came into the House, too, I mean, the Republicans also fought dirty as well. They tried to, you know, um, impeach him. They brought up, went to dig up records of his uh, escapades with, uh, with um, sex workers and, uh, you know, brought the videos up, even videos where he said he was going to group certain parts of women and all that. It was played on CNN everywhere. It's, it's part of the game, but, but, you know, it depends on what extent these politicians are willing to go in terms of the word dirty. If you remember Obasanjo, Ulushego Obasanjo was uh, who said that um, uh, the election is a do or die affair. You know, um, people read all sorts of things into it. You know, it went so far, you know. Uh, so, so this man means that they're going to kill people, but you know, that was not what he meant. You know, so I, I do hope that um, when um, Bola Metinbu says he's really to fight dirty, it will be within the confines of um, uh, the politics, you know, not not something that would disenfranchise Nigerians of their rights or or not, not necessarily, the not, or, not necessarily uh, that. You know. So but, anyway, let, let us let's move on to um, the next one. Um, Abba Kerry uh, sues uh, federal government seeks for freedom from detention. Um, this is quite interesting, Mercy, because um, the man Abba Kerry is uh, is embattled. You understand, he's embattled, and he's been um, taken to court. Um, of course, uh, he's been taken in rather by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. And um, not a few Nigerians are surprised to hear that the man who has been accused of uh, being part of a drug ring, international drug ring, is now suing the uh, federal government, demanding 500 million naira in damages from the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency over what he terms his unlawful arrest and detention um, in an originating motion on notice filed before EIA Corps of Federal High Court in Abuja. He is also seeking an order uh, directing the NDLA to tender a written apology to him in two national dailies. Um, of course, the motion was dated February 16 and filed on February 17 by his lawyer. Uh, he's seeking an, a restraining order, you know, an order restraining the respondents. This is the NDLA. It's agents, servants, privies, police, or anyone acting on their behalf from further harassing, detaining, intimidating, arresting, uh, or, or him unlawfully, you know. Um, so I do not know how this will go because it doesn't mean that if the, the, uh, the police has have fresh evidence against him or the NDLA or EFCC, uh, that they can't, they can't arrest him again. They can't detain him within the lawfully or legally allowed um, uh, time frame to question him. You know, they can't, he can't, I mean, they can't be arrested again. But anyway, the, the word here is unlawfully, unlawfully. So what is unlawfully? You know, that is, that is what is within the realm of uh, speculation. So it, it came as um, a sort of a, a, a surprise, if you want to call it, to some persons out there to say, see that this man um, who is um, being accused by, and of course, you are not guilty until proven guilty. You understand? Yeah. So we have to allow the, the, the law run its full course. It's, it won't be fair of us to sit down here and conduct a media, media trial on Abba Kerry. So, but so of, but I, of I course, people have already passed their verdict, but we here, we know, the best, we know better than to... No, so so, so the, the surprise there was that this, this man um, uh, had suing. the audacity to, to sue. sue the federal government and the NDLA. So I, I think he, he understands the system, he understands uh, the law and how it works. Because usually, I mean, when you have to keep a person, if you, you should be able to establish all of the facts. And then if what he's trying to say is where the facts, establish it. And if there's a case, let's get to court. And that's what it is, I think. But however, let's see how all of this actually unfolds. Like we rightly mentioned, not here for the media trial. It's his been... Uh, is innocent until being proven guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> and that's so, uh, you know, it's but, almost but, I mean, very I mean, difficult uh, to... Bobby, he, he is within his rights. Um, every, every, that's what, that's, everyone, that's what I'm everyone, saying. Some people don't understand that, you know, everybody has needs to have their say in court. I remember during the, uh, the Namdi Kanu, you know, the last resumed hearing, 
you know, trial, whatever it's called, um, where his lawyer insisted that his personal issues and complaints must be attended to and heard by the judge. The judge was interested in hearing them. Some people didn't understand why, you know, we're accusing his lawyer of wasting the court's time, wasting taxpayers' money in talking about Namdi Kanu's clothes, Namdi Kanu's eyeglasses, Namdi Kanu's, you know, Sleeping but nothing has changed. But the thing is, when you get to court, the judge will ask you, are you okay being treated well? Is everything fine? And if you have any complaints, no matter how accused or guilty people think you are, you have a right to, um, to seek justice. That's why it's called justice. You know, so um, I, people, I had to tell some people, you know, on radio, say, hey, see, Kanu is, is, is a Nigerian with rights. Criminals or uh, suspects, rather, Accused persons have rights. That's why they are taken to court. Otherwise, it would be jungle justice, which is you just catch you and throw you in jail. You understand? But that is not being done. So, um, whatever Kerry does is within his rights. I mean, the things that you and I will will go to court for, you know, for instance, uh, citing the uh, um, the international conventions on uh, uh, human rights and all that, that people like you and I, Abi Kerry is a uh, is, is it within its rights to apply for this? And I think um, let's allow the, the court do its work. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, that's the size of our conversation on Top Trending. Tomorrow we'll return with more interesting conversations, uh, making the rounds in different spaces of the country. We will definitely step on the break. When we return, it'll be time for us to be looking at the top stories on our national dailies. We call it the, uh, the newspaper review or off the press. Please stay with us.